I'd like to thank my patrons supporting the channel and the creation of these videos. Ok guys, so I decided to make uh, part 2 of this uh, UI prefab uh, chapter because I think you deserve a better explanation of what's going on here. So if we were to click play, this is the what we had before. So we have just one button display, the icon is not moving, the cursor is not moving as we expected to. But if we dig into the persistent game object created by Machinum, we can see the UI and then in the layer one we can see the UI box and then we have all our choices from the main menu. Main menu. So we have, uh, I guess this is the new game, um, and actually we can see in the uh, main content perhaps the text displayed. But well, the thing is that the UI, bo UI box that we are using doesn't have a vertical layout group. So the options are there, but it's are outside of the bounds of the box. That's why they are not shown here. And the reason that the cursor is not working out of the box, it is because uh, by default, the options here start disabled. And uh, Dotwin doesn't know how to start playing when having a disabled game object. So we have two workarounds to toggle that uh, issue. But the first one, let's uh, create a proper UI box for our main menu so we can see the, all the options. So I will stop play mode. What I will do is go to my UI scene, UI environment scene. And from here, right click, Machinom uh, UI box. And from here, what we want is uh, one of these fit size, either with title or without title. I will choose with title. So by default, it will create this, uh, the default uh, background image. So let's uh, select our box sprite for the content and then for the title I will do the same sorry title content background we need to replace that sprite and I will play like I showed you before in the horizontal layout group I will add more padding to the right a little bit or we could if we are going to actually um, type something, it will grow automatically. So uh, in the UI box, also it will move a little bit to the left, from the left, the content uh, word. And I will rename this UI box to UI box blue fit uh, size selection cursor okay so of course we need to add the cursor now again by selecting the UI box right click on it and let's choose Machinom UI box input button selection cursor there we go so let me do the same thing with it before remove the alpha I will add the actual image as a child of the game object cursor so UI image I will select my nice hand pointer and change the size to 53 to 29 and let's test it out like like uh, like that without any animation so far so let's make a prefab out of this new UI box And if we leave it like so, in the UI environment scene, and we hit play now, you will see what I meant. We have no options, the cursor is uh, disabled. So actually I need to rename this game object name because it's awful to leave it as image. So 
what we had before perhaps animated cursor let's do selection cursor and we made a change to the prefab so we perhaps need to apply all the changes now let's uh, delete this prefab from this here key save the scene we can now open up Control alt m editor this is where we had our previous um, ui box selection so let's add the new one save the changes what about now close the editor and let's go to our empty scene where we were testing the menu click play And now we have the options from the menu and our cursor is display and selecting the proper choices when I hit the up and down arrows okay so let's stop play mode and now let's add the animation once again I will open the UI box fit size in the selection cursor last time what we added was the dot twin animate animation um, animation dot twin animation component we make uh, we change here the move we add a duration of uh, 0.6 then we selected the in out quad is type uh, for loops minus one so automatically will add uh, will change to uh, loop type option yo-yo and then we change that one to 28 minus 28 pixels right so and we hit also the autoplay once again let's save the changes to the prefab let's go back to the main menu and hit play yet the animation is not starting but if we go to the game object itself we have the cursor enabled already and we have the selection cursor but the animation is not uh, applied so if we click here activate edit mode and then commit changes and restart then the animation is playing right so we have two workarounds in order to tell the twin that this game object not uh, not the selection cursor itself but the cursor the the parent has been enabled or as, as well of this one because it's uh, both are starting disabled which is uh, using a machine uh, machinom uh, a, a machine object or by code of course for me as a programmer I rather prefer using uh, code because I can do all of this in just one line of code no problem but let's do the machine approach first let me close uh, play mode let's select once again the UI box uh, fit size selection cursor and uh, what we want to add here is uh, let's open up game is love making on scene wizard add machine and let's add a auto machine This auto machine is going to start when this game object is enabled so let's click on that one and then we need to provide the actual schematic asset so let's create a brand new schematic and let's save it um, not here but I have created a schematics subfolder here and let's call this one um, dot twin play
and what we need to do here is to use the call function so call function node bind them together and for the function or the component the class name is going to be dot twin animation so let's select or type here dot twin animation and for the function name is going to be do play and that's all we need so let's save the schematic close work editor save the prefab changes and let's give it a try so once again in the empty scene let's make some room here if we hit play as soon as the game object uh, is enabled it will call the do play twin and uh, now it's working as expected okay if you want to see more please consider subscribing and supporting the channel thank you very much